Hello, this is John. And what we're going to do this time is we're going to produce a photo story using Photo Story 3 for Windows. So let's begin. We've opened up uh, Photo Story 3 and we'll start a new story. Press Next and now we need to uh, bring some photos into our uh, photo story so let's import some photos. And these are some photos that uh, I did uh, at a uh, Owatonna uh, art facility with my friend Darlene. So I'm just going to click on a few of the photos just to make a, a pretty basic uh, photo story. Uh, we could also add music uh, to this, but uh, we'll uh, forego that uh, process at this time. Okay, I've selected my photos. The system will load those up. And we could remove some black borders if we want from our photos. And uh, let's, uh, let's do that at least on this photo right here. Um, and this program um, lacks a little flexibility in that I can't just stretch uh, it out to the bottom as you can see I can't stretch it out if I do you'll see that it starts building the black from side to side again so uh, with this photo we'll just uh, include this portion of the photo uh, that you see to the right in our story we'll want to use that one and as for all the other ones we're just going to uh, bypass the, the rest of uh, removing the black. But we could do that to all of them. We also could do it automatically to all of them if, if we so choose. At this time, let's hit Next. And we need to place a title uh, on our movie. So we'll say uh, oh, Art Class by Darlene and the black doesn't show up very well so I'm going to highlight this go to uh, this uh, font bu button and we're going to change it from black to white we're going to press OK and let's move the wording from the center to the bottom and if we go over to these three tabs here uh, we can hit the right tab and I'll put it in the bottom uh, of the photo. So let's hit next. And now we can do some customization of motion of each photo uh, if we so want. Um, let's click on uh, say this photo of Darlene and we're going to do some motion and we're going to specify the start and end position of what we want to see on the screen. So we're going to start it here and let's just narrow this down even a little more here and uh, okay and we're going to set the end position is and we'll just go out a little further here and set duration automatically well let's just turn around and we'll increase that well to 6.0 so it's going to be it's going to be on the screen for 6 seconds um and anytime you put some motion in it you may want to make this uh, a little longer so that it doesn't really go quickly across the screen and the person can't see what's happening. We could preview it at this point but I'm just going to hit save and continue on. And now I can select music if I want uh, at this point uh, but I'm going to bypass adding any music if we if we were out uh, to show you we can select it and it would it would go to uh, uh, bringing up our menu screen and we'd pick out the music from our uh, menu from our hard drive and we would continue at that point but we're going to skip the music and we're going to go to the next uh, save your story um, we can save it in a number of different ways and we can go through those uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to save story to the computer, our, our computer. But let's go down here to settings for for a moment. What size uh, of a movie do you want? We got some choices on that. 
320 by 240, 640 by 480, 800 by 600. 800 by 600 is the size of a of the old type of uh, screens that uh, we used to be having on our on our computer desks. The 1024 by 76 would be more of the current ones. We can also create a DVD or a CD to act as a DVD. But for this, we're just going to do a 640 by 480. We're going to hit OK. Um, specify the location of file name of your story. Uh, let's do art class. I've already done one by Darlene slash version 2. Hit save. And then we're going to hit next. And it's going to build the story for us. Now it's actually building the actual um, story. And it'll be a wave, a WMAV type of, of file that it created. Uh, we can view it at this time. Uh, but we also need to save it as a project. If we save it out as a project, that allows us always to turn around and be able to um, go back and change it at a later date. So here you are. You're getting a chance to see uh, the, the movie at this time. And there's probably a number of things that we, we probably should change off of this. But uh, in any event, you get some idea. And all these, the, the motion that you're seeing, we can change it from going from left to right, right to left, from up, up to down, so on and so forth. We didn't go in and change all those uh, different uh, motions, but it surely is doable. So we've taken a look at it. I'm going to click off of that. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn around and say save project. Now this gives me a chance to save it out as a project. Which means, I, again, I'd be able to change it and, and either add photos or change any of the elements of, of that uh, video that you just happen to see. So uh, let's go to exit. And uh, we are complete with our uh, uh, photo story for the moment. So um, have yourself a great day.